Ooh, I love a good eyeshadow palette. Ooh, oh, okay. I don't think I'm going to like this. I have the BoxyCharm by Ipsy Box for July 2023, and we're going to unbox it together. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Sashina, and I love making beauty and lifestyle content here on my channel. In today's video, I do have the BoxyCharm by Ipsy Box. This is the new box for July 2023. Um, Ipsy sent this over to me so I can show you guys what's in the box. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to say about this box is the new packaging. I do enjoy a good gradient moment. Very different from last box months where it was just the regular orange ipsy looking color. You know, as much as I do these unboxings, you would think I would have a pair of scissors next to me. So the theme for this month is the Great Escape. Pack your makeup bags because this month we've got a one-way ticket to dewy skin, glossy hair, and so much color. So I'm expecting to see some color in this box. Here is the card that they include in my creator package. It just gives a few details about what the theme is for the month. Okay, let's let's get into like the real deal here. So opening my box, here is what the inside looks like. Diving right in, just grabbing the first product. This is the Earth Harbor Biome Brightening Ampule. Oh, she's cute though. Okay, I don't like to review skincare initially here because, you know, skincare, it takes a while to see the results, but I will show you the packaging, like I said. Here is what the bottle looks like. Very simplistic, very minimal. Marina Biome Brightening Ampule is named for the treasure ocean blue botanical she possesses. So what is it? Brighten and balance for an even radiant complexion. It doesn't have a heavy smell to it and it's very greasy. So I'm gonna guess, what is it? green tea seed oil so it's a oil and again this is a product to help brighten and balance for an even radiant complexion sometimes i wish brands would just get to the point with what the product is and what it does instead of like jumping through hoops and sounding so creative i think last month philosophy had a it was a face wash and it said fine grain desert earth babe just say sand it has sand in it <laughs> I do appreciate the creativity though. Oh, we have another Natasha Denona palette. I never know if I'm saying her name right, but this one is the Fez palette. Ooh, I love a good eyeshadow palette. Ooh, oh, okay, it's broken. This one is broken. The one I got for last month came in good condition. Ooh, so this is the one that I got from last month. It came in great condition. So yes, this did arrive broken. Believe it or not, I was expecting it. I love watching the Just Anne. She's another um, YouTube creator who does makeup subscriptions, unboxings on her channel. And I think hers is broken. I'm not quite sure, but I do remember people in the comments commenting on how, um, it always arrives broken so this is my first broken palette that i've ever received from ipsy mm, i'm not feeling this one here are the swatches um this blue is definitely gonna stain i will say that but here are the swatches yeah people were saying that their palette arrived broken as well so if you are receiving a boxy charm box this month please be aware that your product may arrive broken that's just a common theme that i've been seeing um with these palettes i will say i'm just not feeling this palette one because it arrived broken like i don't <laughs> that was just a turn off for me oh okay so next we have a shimmer lip gloss this is the candy paint lip gloss by sweet street and the color comet let's look into the packaging right quick here is what the lip gloss looks like i'm gonna give you guys a nice close-up it has a lot of shimmer in there i will say i'm gonna try it on the back of my hand just to feel what the texture is like Oh wait, I think they got that right. I think they got that one right. Let me wipe my lips off right quick and try it on for you guys. Ooh, okay, so look, here it is. I've applied it. I don't know if you can see the sparkle. If you can see the sparkle, but you can see the gloss, babe. Yeah, I think they really got this one right. It has the right amount of shimmer and gloss. It feels very comfortable on the lips. Yeah, I like that. This one is like my favorite product out of this box so far. Next up in this box is another makeup product. This is the Lip and Cheek Multi Stick by Lucky Chick. It is in the shade Lucky Days. Is it going to be pink? I feel like it's going to be pink. If it's mauve, we're, we're going to enjoy it. Okay. So opening up the package, here is what the packaging looks like. It's black. And then that. Oh. Okay. 
this is what we are working with right here. I'm not really good at telling you what shade of pink. I don't think I'm going to like this. I kind of don't like this, I'll be honest. It just does not look really good with my skin tone. Actually, I don't know. Let me know down in the comment sections. How does this multi-stick look for me? Is it too bright? Is it too... Is the undertone not correct? It's something that's really throwing it off and I can't tell what it is. I think it's the right color. I just don't think it has the right undertone, if that makes sense. Because you can tell that the product is on my skin, but how well does it complement me? Uh, oh, okay, we are down to the last product. This is a skincare product. Keys, Keys Soul Care Protector Light Daily Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. It's a moisturizer with a sunscreen. Right off the bat, the simple fact that it does have SPF in it, they won. I love this product already. It's just a product that you cannot go wrong with. It doesn't have any color. Hopefully it blends in with my skin tone. Actually, let me check and make sure that it doesn't leave a white cast on my face. So I'm going to put just a little bit here and we're going to rub it in. Okay, and that's also a plus. Sometimes when you have darker skin tone, these types of products can be a hit or miss, especially when it has SPF in it because it'll make you ashy. Um, but, you know, it's only 30, so that should be really good. It blends in really smooth. It's kind of greasy. It is a little bit greasy. Is this for face? Oh, yeah. Massage evenly onto face and... <laughs> It was a fine time to be checking, but it is for face and neck, and so far, I really do love the application of it. So those are all of the products I had in my BoxyCharm by Ipsy Box for July 2023. Let me know which products were your favorite. I'm going to try this again just to see, just to give it another go, but I don't think it's going to work for my skin tone. Like, it's really cute. The idea of it is really cute, like a multifunctional makeup stick, but when it comes Actually, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. I will say I really love this shimmer lip gloss. It went on really smooth. It doesn't make my lips itch. You know, sometimes glosses have that like the glo the glitter feel to it, but this does not have that and that's why I like it. You know, I'm kind of disappointed. I am very disappointed that my palette arrived broken. And as you can see from my hands, the blue will also stain I'm not using that color. I don't want to use that color on my face. This video was for the BoxyCharm box by Ipsy, but if you want to see the glam bag, I do have the Ipsy glam bag for July 2023, and I'll put it in the cards or at the end of this video so you can go watch it too. I also have an extra surprise package they sent me. So if you want to see what I have in these goodie bags over here, go to the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in my next upload. Peace.